Welcome. My name is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician. Now, I know you watch a lot of videos on how you get pregnant. It's very easy, just have sex. No, it's not that easy. So that is what Parently is all about. Click the link below. I'm going to repeat it. Click the link below. It will take you to a guide on how to be prepared and get pregnant. Because that's what it's all about. When you're ready as a woman to get pregnant, you want to be pregnant yesterday. Not today, not tomorrow, but yesterday. Unfortunately, many women don't know how to do that. So today, we're going to talk about ovulation and how you use your menstrual periods to determine when you ovulate. It's important to understand that if you don't ovulate, you can have sex 365, 24 hours a day, but you're not getting pregnant. You have to ovulate. And you have to try to understand when you ovulate to help you get pregnant. Ovulation. Usually it occurs in the mid part of your cycle. What in the world does that mean? So we're going to use three examples and try to give you dates that will help you. We're going to take the perfect woman. And I don't really know what the perfect woman is. Maybe if you go to the dictionary and write, go to perfect woman page, maybe you'll find her. But they really don't exist. But the perfect woman has a 28-day cycle. You ovulate approximately 14 days before that. Now, doesn't mean that that means it doesn't mean that you're going to ovulate necessarily on day 14. It could be day 10, day 11, day 12. So we're going to give you a guide. If you have a 28-day cycle, that's from the end of one cycle to the beginning of the next cycle. That 28 days is what we're talking about. You ovulate approximately from days 10 to day 17. Again, this is for the woman that has a 28-day cycle. So the first day that you see any bleeding is called day one. You say, husband, we're going to start having sex on day 10. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You start having sex on that day. Have sex approximately every 48 hours. Why? There's more sperm that your husband's going to release if you have sex every 48 hours. Day 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, he gets an extra day. But if you do that, that's going to increase your chances for getting pregnant. 21-day cycle. End of one cycle, the beginning of the next cycle, is 21 days. That woman ovulates anywhere from day 7 to day 14. First day that you see your period, that's called day 1. What is a period? It's light spotting. It can be a heavy flow. You see blood, that's called day 1. Go to day 7. You say, husband, we're going to start having sex. 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, Again, he gets an extra day. Now, we're going to go move forward and talk about the woman that has the 35-day cycle. She is going to ovulate anywhere from day 14 to day 21. So, first day that you see any spotting, it's called day 1. You're going to move forward to day 14. You're going to have sex on day 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Again, approximately every 48 hours. Why is that 48 hours important? Let's assume that the woman ovulates on day 14. And she ovulates on 7 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. That egg can die as soon as 7 o'clock that night. It may last until 7 o'clock the next morning. But it's going to live only 12 to 24 hours. So if you have sex on Monday, most of the sperm are dying within 48 hours. So if you had sex early Monday morning, let's say you had sex at five o'clock in the morning on Monday morning, most of the sperm are dead by Wednesday at 5 a.m. And the woman ovulated at 7 a.m. If you don't have sex again in that 12 to 24 hour period of time, you're not gonna get pregnant. Then you've missed the opportunity. So that's why every 48 hours is the best. And don't set a clock. Don't say to your husband, okay, it's 47 minutes and 35 minutes. We need to have sex in 25 minutes. That's crazy. Try to have sex on the 48-hour time period. Use your eye watch. Use a clock. Most men won't forget. They will put that in their memory and say, 48 hours, honey, let's go. Make a game out of it. It's hard because women at this point want to be pregnant yesterday. 
They're not interested in all the wonderful things that happen in the bed. They just want the sperm because they want to be pregnant. I hope this was helpful. Rock on.